Okay, in this video we will cover examples part 4 of section 2.1. So example 4 says find an equation of the tangent line. So this time they want me to find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of f at the given point. So then since they want the equation, the first thing I need is the slope. I have the point, I need the slope though in order to get an equation. And the definition is the limit as delta x goes to zero of f of c plus delta x minus f of c over delta x. Now I do know what c is. The x value I'm talking about is four. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug these values in. So when we plug this in, we're going to replace x with 4 plus delta x. And then here we're going to replace x with 4. Now let's simplify this just a little bit before we continue. If I distribute the 2, I get... 8 plus 2 delta x plus 1. Here I get 8 plus 1 over delta x. And I get 9 plus 2 delta x minus the square root of 9 over delta x. Now, if you recall from a previous chapter, the easiest way to reduce radicals is to multiply by conjugant. So I'm going to end up taking this expression here in the numerator and multiplying by its conjugate, which means the sign in the middle will change to a plus. And so that I don't change the value of the expression, we need to multiply the same thing in the denominator. So that ideally I'm just multiplying by a really quirky one, right? So you don't change the value of this original um, fraction. Now I don't want to distribute this in because remember the focus is to try to cancel this away so that I can direct sub later. So on the bottom we're just going to end up with this expression here. In the top, I can go ahead and FOIL that out. So I end up with 9 plus 2 delta x squared. This will give me a positive square root of 9 times square root of 9 plus 2 delta x. Multiplying these two will give me a negative square root of 9 times ne square root of neg uh, 9 plus 2 delta x. So those two factors will cancel. I mean, I'll write it, but normally I don't write this when I'm taking a test or something like that because I know they will eventually cancel. And same goes for you. If you know that those two terms are going to cancel, um, you don't necessarily need to write them out in the distribution. But like we mentioned, this term and this term will cancel, leaving us with... The square and the square root will reduce each other and cancel each other out. Here, same thing, those will cancel each other out. And just to save some space, I'm going to do a lot of reducing here. So 9 minus 9 will reduce. And now if I imagine that that's not there, instead of rewriting the fraction all over again, I notice that this factor and this factor will reduce as well. So then I end up with 2 over the square root of 9 plus 2 delta x plus the square root of 9. 
And now that I don't have that delta x factor there anymore, we can direct substitute to calculate this limit. Oops, I don't need to write limit anymore once I'm plugging in the number. That is a common mistake that does get points taken off when you're taking a test. If you're doing the direct substitution already, you should not be writing the word limit anymore because you're finding the limit now. This is a reminder to tell you to take the limit. But once you've plugged, you've direct subbed, you're no longer, you no longer need a notation that tells you you need to take the limit. You're already taking it. So therefore, you should not have that LIM statement over here on the side. Well, 2 times 0 is just 0, so I get the square root of 9 plus the square root of 9, which is 3 plus 3 which is 6, and this fraction does reduce down to 1 third. So this is my m tangent, my slope of the tangent line. And I was given a point at the very beginning. So now I can find the equation. It's going to be y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1. So when I do that, I get y minus my y value here is 3 equal to m, which is my slope, 1 third, x minus x1, which is 4. So I've distribute this. I will get y minus 3 equals 1 third x minus 4 thirds. And then if I add 3 to both sides, this will cancel here leaving me with y equals 1 third x plus um, 3 is the same as 9 over 3 and it's positive 9 over 3 so that will leave me with the positive 5 thirds and this is the equation of the tangent line that we were looking for